one topic keeps coming up that we haven't spent enough time on, and it's the 39 failing schools. And so I would like to see us, you know, since, since November, we've had six special called board meetings and 11 workshops. And I don't think any of them have had the topic of our 39 failing schools addressed. That's where our focus should be. The battles that we can win. Because when we can address the 39 failing schools and come up with a plan to improve those schools, maybe we wouldn't lose students from those schools to charter schools. I would like to see when we're calling, when are we going to call a special called board meeting to address those 39 failing schools? So uh, we need to support school choice. We need to not place our district in financial jeopardy. We need to abide by state laws as we took an oath to do so. And most importantly, we need to put some students and families first and give them peace of mind that they're going to have a school to return to next, next month. And so with that, um, if it's an appropriate time, Mr. Porter, I would like to make a motion that the board comply with the state of Florida's Board of Education's order and also settle the four pending lawsuits by renewing the charter schools contracts of Kids Community College Charter High School, Pivot Charter School, South Shore Charter Academy, and Woodmont Charter School per the original contract agreements as recommended by the superintendent at the June 15th board meeting. 